Okay, find and check the inverses of these blocks assuming that they exist. Let's start with the first one. So, um, uh, let's start with the first one, uh, Ben. So this is I0CI. Let me show you and then you can try the other two yourself. Uh, so if I want to take the inverse of this, right, this is made of block matrices. So I represents a matrix. 0 is matrix 0, C is matrix, C, I is also matrix. Okay, so that means I have to take the matrix of each one of these block. The sorry, the inverse of each one of these blocks. So that means the inverse of this will be I inverse, 0 inverse, C inverse, and I inverse. Now, uh, we know that I inverse is I because the inverse of an identity matrix is the identity matrix. So here we get I. Now the inverse of zero matrix is also zero. Mm? Uh, and then we get C inverse and then I. Okay, so this should be uh, the inverse of the original matrix. Now how do we know how do we know if it exists? How do we know if this is a valid matrix? We multiply the original by this. If we get an identity matrix, that means it is. Because uh, to check, if, if you take matrix A and you multiply it by A inverse, you're supposed to get the identity matrix back. If you get the identity matrix back, then indeed those are inverses of each other. Okay, so we'll go check. So uh, we're gonna do is, so we're gonna find out uh, what's the product of the original matrix times uh, the inverse that I found. Alrighty. Now here you have to be careful because you're actually multiplying blocks, not cells. So on the first one, you're gonna get identity matrix times identity matrix plus zero matrix, right? Times uh, C inverse. Right? zero C inverse, right? And then uh, I times zero plus zero times I, yeah. And then here we're gonna get, no? We're gonna get C times the identity plus I times C inverse. Hmm? Uh, and here we're gonna get uh, I times zero, uh, no, sorry, C times zero. Uh, why is this slow? C times zero plus identity times identity. Okay, so we know that anything times matrix zero will get you zero, so this goes away, right? Uh, this is also goes away to zero. Now identity times identity gets you the identity matrix, of course. Uh, zero. Mm -hmm. uh, and then here, uh, what do we get here? Well, C times the identity gets you C. Right? Uh, plus C inverse. And then here you're gonna get the identity because this guy goes to zero. So let's see. Uh, now, 
the only way uh, that this matrix will be the inverse if this here goes to zero because we're supposed to get the identity yeah and the only way for this to go to zero is if c inverse equal minus c because if c inverse is minus c this goes to zero right uh, so so c inverse has to equal to minus c for this to work so if c inverse equals minus c uh, then yes then we can find uh, an inverse for this for this which would be blocks i0 uh, c inverse i in the condition that c inverse equals c okay uh, you want to try uh, part B? Okay, let's try the second one, A0CD, to find the inverse for that. So, uh, this was... Are you... You're moving the pad? You need the pad? I'm going to uh, work out the second one. Do you need the pad for now? Oh, okay. Uh, no, never mind then. I, I thought you moved the pad. Okay, so A zero C D. It's easy to find color. A zero C D. Okay, and let's try to find the inverse of this. So this is gonna be A inverse. Uh, this is just zero block. This is C inverse, and this is D inverse. And if this is true, that means if I multiply uh, the inverse times the original, I should get identity blocks. So the original was A0, C, D. Okay, so let's see what that gets us change colors here so we're gonna get a inverse times a that's the identity plus zero because we go row column so that's the identity mm. um, and now we have a inverse times zero is zero plus zero times d is zero uh, then we have c inverse times a plus uh, D inverse uh, with C inverse times A plus D inverse times C Sorry. and uh, then we have 0 plus the identity uh, okay so uh, this uh, needs to be a, a zero here so that we can say that this is invertible and uh, if this needs to be a zero so let's set it equal zero so say c inverse a plus d inverse c has to equal zero which means c inverse a has to equal negative uh, D inverse C uh, let's try to set the condition on C what I could do here uh, is uh, pre multiply by um, inverse so let's multiply by uh, a inverse C inverse a plus D inverse C. yeah let's pre multiply by uh, let's pre multiply by uh, A inverse so we get 
uh, or post multiply by a inverse. So if we do that, we get c inverse times a times a inverse. So post multiply by a inverse equal minus g inverse c a inverse. Okay, good. So this is the identity matrix, which tells me that C inverse has to equal minus D inverse C A inverse. And if I inverse this to get C, then uh, C inverse uh, Let's see, uh, we could multiply uh, by C. Um, and then we get, uh, or we could inverse this. So inverse both sides, C A inverse. And that will get me C here. And when I inverse this, I transpose them. So this will become minus uh, a a inverse a this becomes a c inverse uh, oh but then I'm getting a c inverse here uh, one second do something a little different here what I'm gonna do so I can get the C inverse out of here uh, I'm going to uh, pre multiply this by D so if I pre multiply this by D I get D C inverse equal minus D times D inverse will be I times C times A inverse okay and now uh, i times this goes away so we get d c inverse equal minus c a inverse yeah what's that On the second one? Uh, well, um, I am getting, you know, I could, uh, there's no need to manipulate here. I could. I am getting that C inverse has to equal negative D inverse C A inverse. If this is true, then we will get an inverse to the original matrix. I could delete this. Maybe. So basically, I'm getting this result for it to work. Hmm? I'm getting this result. C inverse has to equal minus D inverse C A inverse. And of course, you know A and D, so you could find their inverses. And C. Now, I followed the same kind of logic uh, I did on the first one. Yeah, 
now on the third one let's see what the third one gets us is zero i i d so now this is the third matrix uh, zero i uh, ID okay so uh, if I inverse this Say that again, Ben. What's up? Well, it's asking you uh, in in what condition will it be convertible? Will it be invertible? So you have to make a condition on these blocks because it doesn't always have to have an inverse. Okay, so on the fourth one, uh, inverse of this is the same, and then here we get d inverse. And if I multiply this with the original, D inverse, let's see what we get. Uh, I squared, which is I, I times I, I times I. Uh, is I All right. uh, then we have uh, zero I D inverse and then we have D I D inverse is just D inverse uh, and then we have uh, I plus i uh, i plus i two i means 